Our next inductee is former England star Will Carling. The centre enjoyed a great career as a one-club man with Harlequins while also starring internationally for England and the British and Irish Lions. In 1988, Carling became the England captain at the tender age of just 22, England's youngest for 57 years. He presided over one of the most successful periods in the team's history. So there, Will Carling, the most capped captain of all time in world rugby. He led England out in 59 tests, winning 44, with back-to-back -back Five Nations Grand Slams achieved in 1991 and 1992, and claimed another Grand Slam in 1995. England also reached the Rugby World Cup 1991 final under his captaincy. There's a piece that tells everything. Now they can be well proud of themselves, John, and the Twickenham crowd are giving them an ovation, which this England team richly deserves. They've come second in the world and that's no disgrace at all. His sensational form in the England jersey led him to an inclusion in the 1993 British and Irish Lions tour to New Zealand. Away from rugby, Carling is a patron of the charity Breakthrough Breast Cancer, who develop new treatments and prevent all types of the disease. It is my pleasure to induct a great man into the World Rugby Hall of Fame, Will Carling. Well, Will, welcome and congratulations on being inducted into the World Rugby Hall of Fame. It was 30 years ago that you and I first played against each other, even though it doesn't look like that, uh, that, that long by the look of us. But uh, congratulations. How does it feel? It, it was a shock, I've got to be honest, but um, a nice one. So um, stunned, lost for words, which is unlike me. That is very unlikely. <laughs> but uh, you've got a few mementos there for the occasion too, haven't you? Does the cap actually fit? Uh, I, I, yeah, no, I, I've, so I haven't dared try it on, but um, I'm sure it, uh, it might do. Um, and yeah, and then, uh, and, a, and a tie pin, so I'm going to have to learn how to wear a tie. I understand you haven't worn one for a while. Actually, not many of us would have worn one for quite a while, which is why we're doing it on Zoom. Well, Will, if, as you look back over your career, which was a, a wonderful career on many different levels, what, what are the times that you reflect on with the, with the fondest memories? Um, for me, best moments were just sometimes in changing rooms after games when you're just lying there or sitting there and you look across at a mate and you're just like, you're like, you know, those for me are the best moments when you're just, you're having a, a, a beer and you just look across or you smile, you laugh about something and you're like, wow, thank God we got there on that one. And, and I, you know, I, those are the, the, the key memories for me. When it all started, you were 22 years of age when you first captained England. And that's a huge ask. And I can't imagine what the pressure would have been like for you at that stage. Yeah, tell us a little bit, bit about what that was like for you. I think, um, you're lucky because at 22, you, you don't think too deeply about things, <laughs> or I didn't, but we weren't doing particularly well at that time. And then you get the call and it's been well documented. I thought I was being dropped because um, we, we were playing you guys in November and suddenly Jeff just sort of said, will you, you, will you be captain? And I, I thought, you know, this really is some kind of joke. You know, I'm 22 years old. I was the youngest by, I don't know, um, quite a few years and... But I, I, I will always remember um, standing up in front of them the first time and you, I was just, I was petrified. You know, you are petrified. These, these guys were my heroes. I'd watch them when I was at school on TV. So the great bit for me was I was 22. So all I could do was ask them to think about what we need to change, guys, because we've got to change some stuff if, if we're going to win. And, and that's all I ever really did was, was ask them, you know, for their opinions and, and, and actually got a few things changed, I think. You ended up leading out onto the field some of England's great rugby sides and you, you, were, you were the captain for three Grand Slams and, and that must be, bring back some great memories as well. You know, three Grand Slams at the time, you know, and even now, I'm slightly frustrated. I think it should have been four or five. <laughs> um, but, uh, you know, three was, was, was pretty good. It was just, for me, it was, I wanted us to be as passionate about playing for England as, as people were you know, the Welsh and the Scots and the Aussies and the Kiwis, you know, it, for some reason, sometimes for the English, 
there's a there's a whole history that stops you being allowed to be passionate as soon as you're passionate people call you arrogant for me that was my dream as, as a as a six seven year old was was playing for England and I wanted to be as passionate about playing for England as as everyone else was well will you've been a, a great friend a great competitor over many years and uh, it's wonderful to that you're now going to be inducted in the World Rugby Hall of Fame congratulations that's very kind thank you John